about to make the first pass today and it looks like we're going to be up against a Hellcat. Hellcat's on tires. He's got a laptop in the seat, so the shirt's going to be fast, so let's see what happens. We're running a new tune today and we did make a pulley change. We're running a little bit smaller pulley with a little bit more boost. I'm really not sure exactly how much boost we're going to be running at the track, but when we data logged it, we were hitting about middle eights, about eight and a half to 8.8 .8 psi at 5,800 RPM. So we're going to be running a little bit more boost than we used to, and we're on a new tune from Jay for uh, this setup. So we're going to see what it does. Hopefully everything goes good like, like I'm hoping. It did good on the street, but the street's a lot different than the track. So let's give it hell. Hopefully we can... Uh, Hang with his Hellcat. <laughs> Yeah, when it went when it went to the two shift when it went to the two shift, it freaking it hit rev limiter. Um, we're gonna have to change the shift points a little bit, but yeah, Jeez. it missed shift. <laughs> it bumped the limiter, bro, and then it went a little bit lean at the end. So I let out early before I even crossed finish line. We still ran 11.7. Holy shit! Oh crap! I'm still recording. Um, yeah, sitting here talking to my son, guys. Sorry. Um, but hell yeah, guys, check it out. 11.7, I let out early because it went a little lean. We had a one, we had a one six sixty foot, and my fucker was screaming, guys. It was screaming. <laughs>
Hi guys. So we just absolutely murdered our last year record tonight. I mean, absolutely murdered it. We ran some pretty damn good numbers. I'm actually stoked because when me and my son got here tonight, we were guessing like, you know what? <sighs> we're thinking like 11.9, maybe 11.8. And uh, yeah, first pass on this tune and this setup, we ended up going 11.7. And that was going a little bit lean at the end and I let out early. And it's not really liking these shifts. The truck's pulling quicker. It's not liking the shift points right now. It's banging the rev limiter on the shift. But we ran 11.7, the first pass. Here's a, pa here's a ticket for that one. And we're in the right lane. And we had a pretty good 60 foot. We didn't spin at all. Um, if we had more power in the truck, the track definitely would have took it tonight, no questions. But 11.7 out of the gate at 115 miles an hour. And again, we're running a little bit different setup. It's getting a little bit more boost. And this is the first tune on it. And we do have MS-109 in the truck, but the timing is not technically tuned for the MS-109 still. It's still on a little bit low side of timing, but the truck ran good. So second pass, guys, we went 11.630 at 116.86. And I am not even lying, guys. I'm still cleaning my pants out because I got the ticket and I was super stoked. You know, last year, our fastest pass on nitrous was 11.8. And we just killed it. Like... I'm, I'm more than happy. I could end the rest of the season right now and I am, I'm good. I beat my last year record and I'm super stoked for that. So I think we're gonna be able to go a little faster before the season's over. I don't know, we'll see. But here's the ticket, here's a time slip for that pass. 11.6, we're in the right lane. We almost cut a 1560 foot that time. Almost cut a 1560 foot, it was close, 1602. And like I said, again, the truck still didn't run very clean. It banged the rev limiter a couple times and it's a little leaner on the AFR than I would like. And that's no lie in there, but the fuel, the MS-109 is definitely giving us a safety window there. But, hell yeah, get it. We want 11.6 guys. I think we can go better. We'll see. Uh, the DA right now is about 436 when I left, but when I just checked on this last pass, it's about 436. So we have decent air. We had a good track. Truck is making more power. We just got to get it fine tuned on the shifts and everything again since we kind of changed it. And uh, hell yeah, I don't know. So I don't know how much faster we're going to get. There's a few more days left of the track being open. And I'm hoping I get to come back out at least one more time. We will see. But I haven't said nothing about it yet, but the tires and wheels on the truck right now, I'm actually selling. And they're actually sold this Sunday. Um, Sunday, I'm taking them and guys buying the tires and wheels. And I'm gonna actually order a different set of wheels and tires because they're gonna be a lot lighter than the race stars. They're still gonna be 17s, but they're gonna be lighter wheels, and we're gonna run a true skinny front runner instead of the tires that I got in the front right now. So we're gonna have you know less rotation weight, we're gonna have lighter wheels and tires. Should make the truck faster. Downside is only the front is in stock right now. The rears are on back order. So I don't know when the rears are gonna come in. They may not make it before the track closes up. I have no idea. I hope they do because I'd love to get a pass on the new tires and wheels with the you know less weight and fine tune this setup a little bit more. And I think we could go probably solid, solid middle 11s to maybe, maybe 11.3, I don't know. Um, I think it's definitely there, but hell yeah guys, I'm stoked, freaking happy. 11.6, I'll take that all day long. Torque Storm Supercharger, stock block 5.7 with a with a small camshaft in it 
super damn stoked and uh hell yeah guys so as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one peace